what the fuck is this? Nothing. Just keep track of it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm sure it's the monster on the other page you're walking to, and I'm like, that looks like the devil! Like, no. Okay, cool. So. Track me um, <laughs> Okay, cool. So, you meet the devil. <laughs> <laughs> So um, I'll move you guys along a little bit. Like we've all got that inspiration. Yeah. Ten points inspiration. The devil needs. <laughs> the devil is. The devil friendly. grants us one wish, which is to teleport us all back to town, free of charge, <laughs> at the cost of one dragonborn soul. A paltry price, I would say. <laughs> the dragonborn makes a deal to sell a dragon instead. <laughs> I was going to say, yeah. One reflection. We have no dragon souls. Yeah. Dragonborn souls in the group. Cool. So you guys pass around the edge of the lake. Oh. We find that sun. Ah. I'll be the same. It's fun. But like, window shades, you don't need to do that on the early thing, do you? Oh, no, actually, it's, 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 yeah. Matt, do you want this yeah. as well? Yeah, yeah, if you could. It's just Goodbye, it's, outside world. Yeah. <laughs> Literally just burning into my eyes. Hello, <laughs> screen black. Like, wow, that's, that's so bright. That's <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice and dingy, just the way I like it. Um, so. Din? <laughs> <laughs> So you guys no. pass around. You you drag the um, you drag. The, who's so? Let's say I need an order. Who's doing what? Well, um, so it's going to occupy at least three of you to move to move the. Yeah. Two at least. Yeah. Yeah. And, <laughs> we're dragon. I've got Santa's glorious meat sack. Dragon <laughs> 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 So you drag and drag and you you the dragon yeah. on watch then whilst everybody else mm-hmm. moves. I think because because you're taking such a simple course, <laughs> so I don't think anybody really needs to navigate. You're just kind of heading way west. Yeah. Um, that's fine. Um, so, what's the arrangement in terms of? So, there's two ropes and one person pushing from the back of the of the um, the snake sack. Who's I, doing what? Should I take the back? I would imagine that we'd both be up the front. Yeah, you would. Yeah, yeah, it's probably harder to pull than to push. So, okay, so the two dragons are up the front dragging. Yeah, and Knuck will be behind pushing. Okay, and then <laughs> just, just pretending to push like yeah, that's what I'm imagining. <laughs> just a vegan <laughs> expression. Y- Yala and the dragon, where are you positioning yourselves? <laughs> on top of it, yeah. <laughs> get... you're you're light enough that you can sit. I'd probably say the dragon would need to walk alongside. Sure, sure. Um, but you, you can sit up top if you want. Woo! Yep. Keep okay. it a lookout from up high. Okay, cool. I'd say the dragon probably get walks, walks right. alongside oh, and where Din is. Then who's got left? Who's got right? Just for purposes of speeding up later. I'll take yeah. right. You take left. Yeah. Okay, cool. So yeah, the, the dragon. The dragon <laughs> would walk. Like you... <laughs> the, the dragon would be walking alongside you, Din. I'm um, occasionally sort of scurrying a little way ahead as you get close to ridges to like peek over the top and things like that. Um, you you drag him around the side of you drag the um, carcass along the side of the town bar, um, and the, the day the day goes fairly uneventfully. Um, uh, like you you sort of notice as you look to your rear, um, more vultures descending on the area where you were previously. I um, mean, you probably see the old animal in the distance scurrying in that direction. Um, <laughs> You manage to make it away from where the, the lake of the Talvar is, um, and you reach a new area, a new sort of subterrain of this area where you notice like that the ground in this area, um, whilst fairly flat, is quite honeycombed with holes and caves. Oh, that sounds nice. <laughs> I smell me some spiders. Yar. <laughs> um, roll a roll a nature check for me, please. Uh, nice everybody, yeah. Everybody. Oh, well, that's I'm fucking made of nature. 24 again. Nice, okay. 14. 12. 11. Tell me what I know. <laughs> um, so yeah, you, you are like, from the the means of your ridiculously good check. Like, you know, I think your initial thoughts are spiders, as mm. you do, and spiders would probably frequent this area, but you look at the size of the holes and the way that they appear to be burrowed, um, and you, you realise quite quickly that this is these are the burrows of carrion crawlers. Ooh. What do I know about carrion crawlers? Um, so cra- carrion crawlers are essentially like giant monstrous centipedes. Um, tentacles. <laughs> monstrous centipedes. Tentacles on their face, which they use to drag you in towards them. Fantastic. Testicles. On How face. do I know? Are they pretty tough to kill? Um, yeah, the, these wow. things. The, this, this is certainly one of them. Would probably be fine. Um, and you could probably take, you know, if you need to, you, you could fight these things. But this is very much sort of their habitat. Um, so you could be running into more than one here. Halt! <laughs> Everybody freeze! <laughs> and you do also know with 24 that these things are sort of drawn to... They're scavengers as well. They're drawn, God! They're drawn uh. to kills. Alright. Um, let's not go over these holes. Yeah. Let's go around. 
Okay. Uh, so you, you notice that this area sort of stretches out quite a ways away from the front of you. It'd be, you'd probably be adding an extra day to your journey to, uh, to loop around this. Might be worth it to not fight these things. Uh, I think like, so. We, how wide does the area look like? Um, so it sort of stretches out. Like the way, the way what you're faced with is essentially like a long gully. Um, which which heads out in front of you. Um, it's sort of like honeycombed all, all over the sides, but there, there seems to be almost like a rudimentary path which seems to widen through the centre of it. Um, you can't see any signs of anything like immediate, like you you look around and it doesn't appear to be anything immediately jumping out at you. Um, but like it's, it's sort of honeycombed out to the sides, sort of probably a mile in either direction. Okay, does it look at least small enough that we could get through it by today or is it too hard to... Um, uh, so th this would probably be something you'd have to tackle tomorrow. So you could stop here and move away a little ways back away from it, but then this would be your sort of terrain for tomorrow. Right. If, you, if you're going to tackle it, you'd spend the day moving through this area. Okay. I, I feel like it's worth the de extra day. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so either way we're going to have to rest on the outskirts of it, so we're probably going to encounter some of them. Yes. Especially if we've got all this fresh meat with us. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I guess well, we have to rest here anyway, so let's see. If we manage to fight off a couple of them, then we can just go straight through, but... Yeah. yeah. I think, I think by... Do I know, do I know, do they live in, like, huge colonies, or...? Um, so they're not, like, you know from the 24, they're not, like, a burst launcher. They're not colony creatures. Okay. Um, but, like, they'll, they'll set up habitats in the same place, and they won't, like, fight each other. Sure. Um, but, like, so this... Like, like a hundred of these aren't going to come spilling out, it would be like four. Um, yeah, you'd sort of be looking at, just purely based on the size of the area, you, you sort of assess, assess that this is probably an area where quite a lot of them live, but they wouldn't all be like jammed into one area. Yeah, okay. They would give each other space to a certain extent. Sure. So together? like one tunnel of holes would be like one. Yeah, they, they wouldn't work together, but they would be, they, they're all, they're sort of like insects, so they'd be drawn yeah. to the same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, that's fine. So if we if we manage to lure out these guys and then clear them out, we can potentially move through with not like unhindered, but, but less. with yeah with less. Because the uh, since it's such a long area and we take a very little space, it's not like they're all going to immediately be like, ah, yes, we'll go to that one tunnel. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So yeah, camping is the best bet then, because then we can just wait for them. Yeah, I think you figure with a twenty-four as well. Like if you camp up here or somewhere near here, they'll come. You, you will get some during the night. Like they, they are coming. All right, I think we just got to kill them. Fight! Yeah, fight! This uh, time we won't be surprised. Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, so let's quickly. Oh. Hmm. oh. So. Oh. Are we still? We're on the gravel fields, right? You are. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So there's like no trees or anything. No, you're you're out and you're out on the on the barrens now. Mm -hmm. um, so the, the floor beneath your feet, like sort of to your rear, is all is all the broken slate and gravel. Okay. Um, to your to your front, it's more sort of like porous stone. Mm -hmm. I see, I see. There's still plenty what? of broken stones around the place, but it, the, the ground's sort of more solid. Yeah. That's right. You guys can keep discussing. I might have a plan. But I need to check the way first. Okay. Uh, so shall we rest up here? Yeah, I guess so. And wait. Is it look cold enough we need a fire? Uh somebody roll D20, let's see what the weather's like. Seven. Seven. Okay. Um yes, I'd say so. It's not horrendous conditions, but you're, you're gonna need a, a fire, otherwise things are gonna get mighty cold out here. Where's your line cloth? Cool. I suppose I've got short shorts now. Yeah. I, I pass you my long cloth. cloth. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> you're welcome. Yep. So there's enough sort of like the trees out there are some trees out here, but not like I say trees in the loosest terms. Yeah, they're like dry and broken husks. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, yeah, like husky, thorny shrubs okay. of trees. That's fine. Okay. So I'll start um, setting about making a fire. I'll take those and I'll kind of do that survival thing where you take a knife and you kind of like skim it off to make the um, like the threads and make kindling and then use that for the basics. Okay, okay. Cool. Here's, here's what I want to do. Alright, time to put my feet, my, my school to use. So the gravel field is made of stone, right? Good. So I'm just going to start taking slabs of that and transforming it uh, through transmutation into wood. Okay. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh, really? So we... Yes. Yes. So I just do that, and what I want to do is build like a, basically like a big carrot on a stick, where with enough wood, since wood is much more easy to manage than stone, like, you know, get it together, hang that net of meat out, 
So these carrion crawlers are gonna be like okay. trying to get at that, and then we can like pick pick them off. Okay, you right. still need to find some way of like masking the larger pilot that you're dragging along with you. Sure, you, sure. Can set, you can certainly make that 100. percent So yeah, without without any sort of need for check because you're you're effectively using magic to meld it into right. a shape. Finally, put my elk elk me to use. That's fine. So yeah, you, you can 100 percent do that. Um, you'll need to find some way of. Um, of hiding you other kill. You could just bury it in stones. Mm -hmm. um, it would take some time and do a distract, I'd say, to two two people if you want to do it before sundown. Okay. Yeah, we could do that. That would then at least they wouldn't come after us so much to go after them. Yeah. Part of me. Okay. Um let me move it down here and we'll draw ourselves out of camp. Um right, uh, let's zoom out a little bit. Hmm. And then for, for for the pure sake of it, I also make a make a necklace of silver because I can. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, because I can also transform that into silver. Is this all free then? This as well, is it? Yeah, it's all. Uh, How long does it last? Uh, thing. It's permanent. Really? It, it's alchemy. Oh, okay. Um, That's the school of transmutation, baby. Yeah. Doesn't have much bat. Doesn't have much battle use, yeah. but it's a uh, really good outside of battle. I'm surprised it would let you make something valuable like silver. Without there being a time limitation. Oops. Uh, ten minutes. Yeah. No, I mean, uh, like it oh, takes me ten minutes. Ten. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it lasts forever. Right. Okay. Right, so. Me and Din like to make big, normal shaped things into smushy, squash, squish things. So that, that's our transportation. Yeah. Let's turn faces into caved-in faces. Torch of tricking innocent people out of their hard-earned cash. <laughs> right, okay. So she would True wanted. inspiration, Bunky. That's all she would have wanted. Oh, Bunky. So this this sort of area to the right is the sort of porous stone area. These are sort of the lar large, large chasms, or the entryways to them, and this is the sort of path that leads through the centre. And then this is the rough gravel area that you're on here. Um, let's quickly see how big I've made this. And then you adjust accordingly. Okay, yeah, this this is about size. This is about the sort of size. So, how far back from the sort of start of the porous area, area would you want to be? Probably about 120 feet. 120 feet. So yeah. you set up camp around sort of here, then. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, so would this be where you sort of yard, you'd be laying your your bait? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Maybe lay the bait and then move 10 foot back for the camp. So yeah, are you trying to draw them out, or are you just laying it there if they come out anyway? Mm. So what if they come out, it'll be between them and us, so they'll go for that first. Yeah. yeah. What I mean is, are you trying to get them to come out, or are you just well, trying I mean, to save ourselves if they both, do come out? Both. In which case, if you're trying to get them to come out, you're probably going to be a bit closer to them. So yeah, actually, I'm going to lay some extra stuff down. So there's a big boulder um, here. While I'm making the fire, I'd like to just use some of the um, alcohol, the black nectar to make a torch for me, a torch for Yala, and also a torch that we can leave by the trap. Sure. Cool. Just to give us some extra vision at night. Good okay, idea. Cool. Um, these are big old rock formations, so lightened areas, and the sort of rocks. Okay. Oh, I have the gold dragon necklace, I forgot about that. Are they small enough for us to climb on top of? Um, yes, I'd say so, if you wanted, if you wanted to climb up. Um, I'll quickly say, so I'd, I'd probably say like they're, they're all around 30, 40 feet tall. Right, okay, so. Um, this label not go idea to rest up there. Come up with some random texts. Won't we suffer more from that than the yeah. others would? Because they can probably just climb straight up the side of it without yeah. any impediments. Uh, Ooh, that's I'm going to say. Very surprised if a giant centipede couldn't climb up the side of a rock. <laughs> 40 foot. This one's 50. They come out and they're all like Daleks. I know, oh stairs! It's my only weakness! I have cool. too many legs for stairs. I mean, it's their choice of living in holes. Pretty silly. Yeah. 
Okay, so of course, yes. so, we're so gentle slopes. <laughs> so where is the um, where's the meat thing going to be? You say it's the meat going to be the what's 120 feet back? Yeah. Um, so from the edge of it, uh, to sort of about here. Mm-hmm. We'll put the uh, meat about 100, and we'll go 120. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, so okay. about here. So pretty much in the centre of this rock formation. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's fine. Should, should, should we? No, but I mean, like, I That's assume you, you with, with my nature check, if they were like fucking, each one was a wyvern strength, I probably would have said, you, "Let's you, get the fuck out." You got twenty four, didn't you? Yeah. So I'll do the usual fair thing and tell you if one of these things can one shot you. Um, these things are, are large; they're large monstrosities. Mm-hmm. Um, these aren't on the list, are they? No. Uh, I don't know. Right, well, might be. Um, hey, so uh, I've, I've never heard the name before. So yeah. Let's, Come here. Let's collect everything we kill. Should have taken those heads. Should have taken those damn heads. So, one second, we add this up. They'd make a lovely head. Decorations. Mm. Right, so. And you want to bet. Mm. Able to make like, a oh. good joke when you get in town, and like, yeah, these cultists ran into us. Really didn't help them get oh. ahead in life. Since we've <laughs> just shower everybody with hands, like, oh. Since we've stopped early, can we take a short <laughs> rest ready. and then go into our long rest? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's okay. fine. Well, I'll start, that one I'll start, I'll start when we met these. Are we going to go around, or are we going to point back. carry on? <laughs> <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> that was pretty good. Uh, that was beautiful. Y'all, you've got the lowest health, haven't you? Sure do. Um, so, what's your max health? 26. Okay, so yeah, no, none of these things can one-shot you um, without critting. Um, if one was to crit, one sec. What is critting? I feel like most crit 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 thing. I feel like... Doubles the damage dice. Yeah, doubles damage dice, okay. What's yours again? But not 26. Like plus six. Well, okay, so 26, nine. one of these could down you in one turn if it was to crit. Okay. Um, but not but kill you. Not, but not insta-kill you. Okay. okay. So, I mean, not bad. Yeah. And so normally they can't hit above a 26, which I mean, like, is a lot, but... Yeah. We can do a lot as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Right, so Ooh. one second set up the. This deco got to be like a certain amount above your health. We yeah, really don't double your health. Oh, you double could, your health. You need to do your health and then your health could get any past your point yeah. of death. Yeah. Or if you take more than your health past, more, more than your full health past the point of death, that's yeah. instant yeah. death. Yeah. Like, like if a boulder lands on you or something, it does like 100 damage or something. Mm. We really gotta pour one out for Tiger again when we get back. <laughs> Gave us the, the strength to beat that wyvern. Yeah. Was it his or what we keep using? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah if, we, if we had saved Tiger Guy, who knows how this would have gone? He could have gone on his merry way. Yeah, yeah. with his oil. <laughs> and then right now, Nuck would be in the stomach of a wyvern. <laughs> well, I think if that had happened, Nuck wouldn't have stood in front of a wyvern <laughs> and been like, hey, come at me, bro. I mean, you still got pretty lucky. It landed and, like, breathed in your face, <laughs> and then I nuked it. Yeah. Yeah. All according to plan. Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> As it falls, Nox like, calculated. <laughs> <laughs> Not even close, bro. <laughs> Swag. Yeah. That's what he did to make it come down. He's like, I'm here. That dwarven sailor, he's <laughs> dabbing at me. How dare he? <laughs> If I were to try and extract some of the poison from the wyvern, would that potentially stop us from crafting stuff later? Uh, it, it would prevent you from doing the same again later, if you know what I mean. If you yeah. failed it, like, the, the poison would potentially just spill out, if you know what I mean. And you wouldn't be able to do it again later. Okay. But it wouldn't necessarily oh. stop you from sort of crafting stuff back when we get to town. Uh, no, no. Just anything, anything poison-based you might not be able to do. Okay. Um, where's the final going to go, guys? Uh, just back another 20 feet from wherever that is. Okay, um, so... Who uses, both of you use piercing or slashing weapons, don't you? Yeah. What's, no, mace is bludgeoning. Who's yeah. bludgeoning? Like? Stone. Would poison work on a mace? Probably uh, not. I don't think it'd do much. So. No, not so much. Okay, I don't think you'd, you'd have to install some sort of barbs onto it to actually sort of inject the poison. Yeah. Not, not without some Oh my shit. god, cover that mace of crocodile teeth. So just poison the crocodile teeth. So just, 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 just like here for your camp? So I, I wasn't listening. Yeah. I'll do. 
Okay, cool. We're just about poisoning the old mace with crocodile teeth. Yeah, Whoa. poison the crocodile teeth and then well, wrap, wrap your mace in the crocodile teeth. I bet they give it a good plus one plus poison. But the wyvern poison is powerful, so yes. I don't know if it's necessarily worth it for this. Probably better save it until we can get back to town and use people who can do that thing. So if you think we're giving anything we got here to the people in town, you're fucking high. Like, I don't trust anyone outside of this group with anything we got here. Like, they let yeah, I agree. It's ours. Hmm? It's ours. So they let you come into this place and ask no questions. Oh, I praise them for letting me sleep under a fucking rock. Literally a fucking rock. <laughs> The only the thing they're providing me with is land. I could just move two feet out of town and have the exact same conditions. It's why, not like they give me anything. Why would Rum care? Yeah, because I'm, I'm quite proud of where so we, we live. So where's the where's the sure? But like the whole buried. the whole pride in it is that you earn your own. Uh, it's yeah. gonna be it's just, just not like they provide just back from us. Okay, so, so it's probably up like, against the rock face there. Sort of like, like it's not like that. Sort of like It's just that they yeah, they also have to like provide me with a little bit closer. It's it's more like. I'm a, I'm a neighbor. If that makes pretty sense. pretty massive. Yeah. It is Thank you. massive. So, like, that is going to change yeah. once we get back and take some seats on that council. Okay, cool. There you go. And then, where are you guys going to position yourselves? Um, what's everybody doing? Is anybody actually taking out any tasks, or are you all just going to be on watch? I, I'd be on watch. Yeah, I'd be watching. Well, I'm, I'm good at watch, so I'll do that. Okay. Um, so you, it is going to be night time, so people are going to need to sleep. Who's got I'm dark, who's got dark vision and that sort of thing? Who's I do. I do. Yeah, dwarves have dark vision. Has everybody got dark vision? Have they? Do gnomes? I thought we all uh, had it. I think you do. I'm pretty sure we have always had it so far. Yeah, I th- yeah, actually, because it's only oh, what is it? It's only humans and halflings. Oh, halflings. Half elves do have it. Okay, cool. That's fine. Boy, they just get fucking shafted. Like, <laughs> pretty lucky. Uh, Apart from that, yeah. And I hear they're pretty big. Yeah. Where it counts. Yeah. In the feet. In the feet. In the knowledge. <laughs> in the merit. Not in the, the not in the knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not in the knowledge. <laughs> I'm merit. Yo, that's that's how he sounded sound in my head. <laughs> Yo. Uh, uh, mm. Jesus. Pip pip, laddie, I'm merit. I You're am a wizard, Harry. Is that the sorting hat? Yeah. yeah. Gryffindor! Uh, I think we got a chance, guys. We turned into giants. It's all good. Finally! And what was I using? And it was all a dream. Harry wakes up in bed. <laughs> a cold shudder. Turns out we're just about to go on a trial. Oh, oh, that. That was that was right. Just go back to level one. <laughs> you look so sad. <laughs> is that dead or uh, is, is that, that not? For now it is, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's, the that, that's racist against dwarves. <laughs> Why are my lips so big? <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Just the the sad vacant stare, like okay. There's a big giant <laughs> grin on his face. Tears in his eyes. I don't think we'd be in front of the meat sack. I'm just colouring you in quickly. Okay. Holy fuck. That was good. That was a good picture. <laughs> I like That's wizard's amazing. hat, two claw marks, sad, sad <laughs> monkey. <laughs> sad monkey. Here's a painting of a sad monkey. Oh man. Actually, do I have one? Oh, I'm not set. What did I use for the. <laughs> <laughs> Run rages. <laughs> right, so where are you guys going to position yourselves? On the other side of the fire. Other side of the fire? Yeah, probably yeah. back a little bit. How how big is that boulder next to us? Like, it's 40 feet wide, right? That's, that's what if it high. Oh, for, okay, never mind then. <laughs> um... So you're gonna have to. So this is gonna be night time. So people are gonna have to sleep unless you want to get. Yeah, I was planning to sleep first. Mm-hmm. Um, so you're gonna take watches. I'll yeah. take fourth. Yeah. Oh boy. Okay. So then, no. <laughs> so you're oh gonna, you, are you all gonna watch from the same spot when you when it's your turn to watch? I like just next to that forty foot boulder. It looks like a good little 
cover spot. So look overlooking the meat sack. Yeah. So sort of like there, if you're if you're on watch. And then the people who are sleeping no. around here by the fire. Yeah, that's mm. good for me. Explaining my privacy. No, I took a screenshot. <laughs> I was like, I don't think you took a bit of that. Is that a selfie? <laughs> Here I am, chilling with D&D. Yeah. I was just taking a selfie with my Bud Light. <laughs> right, I'm just going to pop the You know, pop the loop quickly and then we will jump on this. Woohoo! Time to kill some shit. Yeah. <laughs> Fine, let's do it. What are you doing? Are you all taking D- D&D selfies? <laughs> <laughs> I was taking a screenshot. Go chum. <laughs> I think this most fun might be illegal to him. Settle down. It's a fucking thumb man. <laughs> New weekly tradition. Yep. Actually, is this on Facebook? Yeah. (laughs) I got the perfect hashtag right there. (laughs) <laughs> oh Jesus! <laughs> oh, I feel, I feel like oh. you gotta take one, George. <laughs> I think that that one's the best, just because of the the shape of the head. It looks like just a thumb, thumb. Yeah, no. a hairy thumb. <laughs> I'm putting these on the video. <laughs> 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 Just so they finally get to see what we look like. <laughs> so you might have to redo yours. Yeah. Blessed indeed. Oh. Right, um, so order of watches, please, peeps. I'm last. I'll go second. I'll go first. Okay, so... Uh, Yarlet... <laughs> Din was last. Who was second? I was no, I run. Run. Oh, so that leaves um, Nuck. You're on third <laughs> watch. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, does somebody want to roll in? Bud Light, man. Somebody want to roll a D4 for me, please. Is he? I will. <laughs> oh. Well, I got a three. 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 We both got three. Appropriate. It was okay. meant to be. Um, sweet. So. Jumping back in, um, let's swap Nut and everybody else's positions. We'll take a group on win. Oh wait, I wouldn't. Oh yeah. I would not watch from there. I would watch from center of the camp. Center of camp? Yeah. In the I, fire. I would be worried that the thingy would crawl around. So the last place I'd expect you to be. So you're gonna watch from like there? Uh, no, just where everybody else is. Okay, so you're gonna watch from camp. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. What's your what's your dark range on dark vision? Uh, it will be sixty foot. And then, well, we're lit by the campfire anyway. Okay, but yeah, then so, pa- past the campfire, what can you uh, see, like, dim? It would be, I think it's 60 foot in, uh, like, normal vision and dim light, and then an additional 60 foot in dark. Uh, is it? Uh, so it's total 120, is it? Is that? I don't know if that's right. Let me look it up for me. Because it's going to be important I just put 60 If, if you're going to watch from there, then it's definitely going to be important. Where is the dwarf page? That dwarf page? Um, where's my fucking dwarf page? <sighs> you have superior vision in dark and dim conditions. You can see in dim light within 60 feet of you as if it were bright light, and in darkness as if it were dim light. Oh, so you can just see as if it's in dim yeah. light. So yeah. all darkness is dim light, and then okay, anything sweet. within 60 feet that's dim light is normal. Okay, sweet. So dim. So a fire... Is there something for a campfire? Uh, I want to say it's 30 and 30. 30 and 30, okay, cool, that's fine, we'll roll with that. Um, so, 30 and then 